Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Noob Slayer HD with 955 rating versus Game Breaker with 908 rating. So there's gonna be another DB match. Also, you can go ahead and check out Game Breaker's Twitch, link down below at the very top of the description, and let's hop right in. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to see Noob Slayer HD win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and they'll decide to go first 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, you have Super Poly, Miri, Rhino Heart, Beast, and Mayonnaise. The opponent has Ash, Talons, Called by Jet, and Smashers. So, yeah, they're kind of lucky that they didn't go first because they just bricked. Said, oh no, oh yes. Mon Mon. So, like, morning, morning. Normal Summon Rhino Heart, Rhino Heart Effect. They're going to chain Ash Blossom and Joy Spring on that. Set Mayonnaise, set Super Poly. Pass turn, draw opening of the spirit gates. So this card's cool. Uh, it's three level twos, so that's nice. They're gonna activate, and then that's gonna go search. So go ahead and grab the dark beckoning beast, and then normal summon effect, and then in response they're gonna chain mayonnaise on it. Okay, so go ahead and set. Usually what ends up happening is like you start with dark beckoning beast, you normal summon effect, you search, you activate, you search. You extra normal summon it out. You can link to effect discard summon back. Um, Cause now they're gonna dump Shaylin, the Book of Moon, it, and they're gonna go search an opening of the Spirit Gates, which, you know, it, it's because uh, this can search this, but this can't search itself. And it's kind of interesting that they have another opening of the Spirit Gate. And then Shaylin effect chain called by banish that. Activate talents to draw. That draws into a jet and a dark beckoning beast. Okay, not at all what they needed. And then they're going to pass, draw Ash Blossom. And then go main phase. Uh, normal summon out Miri. Miri effect, try to mill. And then we're going to see Salic, Hafinas. So Hafinas Confusion Summon. Salic's going to allow us to go search for a tier element monster. So Salic chain link 2. Uh, we're going to go search a Hafinas, and then put those to the bottom of the deck, bring out a kit, activate the kit effect now to go search, grab Rhino Heart, and then kit effect on itself. So special summon out from the hand, get rid of kit, kit chain link 2, Rhino chain link 1, so we're going to mill 5. We see Foolish Burial goes, this card is interesting because you can dump Salic and treat it as like a Rota, but... It's just like a worse Rota. It's cool with side deck options though, which I'm guessing is why they play it. Then Rhino to dump, Shaylin, um, Miru effect, put back Miru, put back Kit, bring out Dragos to Palea. Sec how much defense, it has zero. So they're gonna go ahead and attack here. Um, putting them down to 38. So, we have game if we just, like, commit into it with Super Poly. Okay, we decided to just go for Redoer. Um, I don't know. What? I don't know if that was played right. Also, it's, like, deck building options are weird. Bell's really weird. Okay, I've seen people main deck this card, and, like, they're like, oh, you know, it stops DD Crow. It's like, is DD Crow that high impact against tier element where you need to stop it? Personally, I'm playing through DD Crow. I don't know about you guys, but it's it's good. It's a good card, but, like, realistically, you can play through it. Um, and I don't want to play a, a low impact hand trap in my deck to stop their low impact hand trap. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense at all to play Bell. I think, I think the card's really, really bad. It doesn't even, like... You could play DD Crow instead of Bell. DD Crow is a little bit better than Bell overall, besides for like when you're getting DD Crowed. But then also DD Crow works with your tier elements. So like, I mean, there's so many different options you could play. Like low, low impact cards are not good in this deck, I think. Same reason why I wouldn't play stuff like Ash Blossom. Cause like Ash Blossom is just not stopping Splite by itself. You have to have, have another hand trap with it. So then you're deciding to commit your deck into a hand trap deck which means you have to play all the hand traps because you need to draw two of them together. 
it's like even then you're not even gonna have like a, a technically like a reliable enough times to draw two of them assuming that you know you end up playing 15 all together including Hafinas and Hafinas is only one like 65 ish percent of the time we'll just pass they draw dark beckoning beast standby phase uh, redoer effect redoer attaches starter it's a spell yep nice Activate, discard, Dark Beckoning Beast, special summon back out, Dark Beckoning Beast, on summon, activate Redoer, uh, Redoer is going to detach Rhino Heart and Starter, uh, we're going to get to draw, and then Rhino Heart summon itself out by discarding Hafinas, and then, yeah, they're going to activate the effects, and they admit defeat, you did not just say GG's after game one, oh my gosh. Uh, going into the next game, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see Game Breaker go first, opening hands, you have Sphere Mode, Hafinas, Miri, Bell, Mayonnaise, they have Judgment, Prosperity, Dark Beckoning, Beast, Jet, and Smashers. It's like the side decking choices don't even make sense either, like if you're main decking all the hand traps, you would side deck more... Either hand traps. I don't even. Know. I don't even think Sphere Mode's good in this deck anymore. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought it was, but I was looking for a little bit, and then I realized I was wrong. So I'm gonna go normal summoning dark beckoning beast effect. Go search opening, activate opening, and then that goes search dark beckoning beast. Normal summon dark beckoning beast. Special summon jet. Activate the jet effect. In response, we're gonna chain Hafinas. So, I think it was just a misplay, right? We we're supposed to just do it on the first one, because they go normal summon effect, search, activate, search, normal summon, make gigantic, and we go Hafinas effect on gigantic. Even if we mill 17 tier elements off of our mill 3, we can only fusion summon in the level 2s. So, that was probably just a misplay like it had to have been right yeah we hit miru which is cool um they're gonna go search yes they add not yet jet is one that is not how that works how Phoenix was channeling too yeah now we're gonna go ahead and use miri effect so miri put itself back put back off Phoenix, bring out kit Kit effect to go search her dump. We're gonna dump Shay Shay and then Shay effect to fusion. Then that makes a Dragos to Paleo. Okay, activate starter. I mean, do you care that much about their end board though when you have sphere mode? I don't know. I feel like instead of dumping Shay off kit, maybe we're supposed to search it. But starter, bring out blue, lose life points, blue effect to go search, chain Dragos to Paleo on it, chain Smashers, that's going to out Drago, blue still searches for red, then activate Prosperity to banish and look at the top six, so we're going to see the whole Zeus thing package, uh, Zol Sweeper, Cat Shark, Amirage, now peep the top six, let's see the goo, we see Shifter, I've gone over my thoughts on Shifter in this deck. Actually, I don't know if I've done it on the channel yet or not. I feel like I've done it a lot, though, in VC. But card's cool going first, because going first, you can drop it, set up a decent end board, pass. They can't do too much. They pass, and then you end the game or set up a big board. Um, but if you drop it going second, you have to hold it in a way that... Makes them st it's the same way as like Droll worked against the Danger Thunder deck. Oh, uh, not Danger Thunder, but the Danger uh, Dark World FTK deck. And you had to like hold it a little bit. Or otherwise, the next turn is so explosive that you're going to lose anyways because you're going to be under your own shifter where you can't set up that much. You can still set up a little bit. You know, you can set up Zeus going second. You can set up IP, Red, Carrot. Um, there's still like decent things to set up. Uh, we're gonna grab judgment there so now we have double judgment um i wonder like there's no way we're also playing a pointer right because i i don't think judgment is the first or second best option 
Special Summon Red. Oh, it's, it's like a decent card. It just says negate one. It's, it's not that crazy. But it's definitely not bad. Definitely not a bad card. Um, Gigantic Effect. Detach. Special Out Swap. Swap Effect. Dump Ronin Totem. Link in the Elf. Elf Effect. Try to summon back out Swap. And then Swap Effect to Dump Swap. Banish Swap for Ronin Totem. Swap Effect. Bounce Back Jet. Yes, we always get the free bounce. Not always, but in this kind of scenario, you get the bounce back a free monster because like we're not using it for anything. And then set double judgment, pass, draw Shaylin. Oh, oh, oh! That's why you didn't search it because you just knew you were gonna top deck it. We're gonna go main phase, drop the sphere mode on them, and then they get toad effect. Add back. So think on the target. They could bell it. They wanted to, but they're gonna let that go. Normal summon Miru. Uh, so it looks like they're just deciding to play like the two swaps, one Rodin, which is fine. Um, yeah, I don't know. Looks like you could cut the other spirit gates. I feel like this deck, like, just because you play Diva or the Nimbles. Or like the Dark Beckoning Beast package, all of those are still just pure splite. Like those are just like boneless level twos to get you into uh, like a lot of splite is just like extra deck. Like the extra deck of splite is crazy. Elf is crazy. Gigantic is crazy. Toad crazy. The actual splite monsters fairly good. When my opponent summons blue and uses the effect. Yeah, that they're gonna search Jet. Jet's gonna get Starter. Starter's gonna get Red. Red's gonna stop me hand trapping their plays. That's pretty nice. Are they gonna grab Smashers because they already have what it stops for me to like? They already have the Red to stop the hand traps. So now they have Smashers too on the end board. Um, yeah, I, don't know. I feel like it should definitely be more than just two swap, one Ronin. But um, ah uh, yes, the multiple normal summon angle. Wait. Oh, because they tried to summon Miri and use the effect. Ha, huh, yeah, you gotta go Shaylin and get rid of Miri. You wouldn't... It, yeah, okay, um... Like, normal summoning Miri would already be, like, somewhat awkward. Because, like, Shaylin get rid of Miri, like, guarantees a fusion. But I guess Mill 6 also is, like, guaranteeing a fusion with only 33 left in deck. Um, we're gonna go Shaylin effect, get rid of Miri. Special summon itself out, Mill 3... Uh, Miri effect the fusion, so put those to the bottom, bring out kit, and then we're gonna be activating the kit effect to go search, grab Rhino Heart. Uh, kit effect. Uh, also, now that like we see the DD Crow, you might be like, oh, DB Grinder, maybe he does play DD Crow. Why are you going on so hard for playing Bell and not DD Crow? Well, Bell isn't even like it. Like, I, I can name so many better hand traps. You could go Valor, Imperm, Nib, Gamma, DD Crow. Ash, Ogre, do we need to keep going? That's do do we think he plays twenty one other hand traps before a bell? Nope. Cap. Super Poly, Dark Ruler, Droplet, Called by No to one of. But still, it, 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 options, options. Kit summon out Rhino Heart, and then we're gonna use Rhino Kit so that I used Miri. Yeah, that's the only like fusion effect you've used so far. No Shailen there. Dump Huffinus, Huffinus 1, Shaylin 2. Uh, we also did hit a Miri off of that too. Uh, so if we wanted to, we can go ahead and make the Kaleido. And then we can go ahead and make the Dragostopalia. Kaleido effect to shuffle back. Kaleido tries to shuffle back the Judgment. And then set mayonnaise, pass turn, because you can't add sphere mode with what we have here. They draw blue. Then go main phase, normal summon swap frog effect. Oh, we do use the effect. Okay. Um, that's fair. So we decided to not summon it last turn, but decided to hold it for the dump off of this one. Or, hear me out, even bigger brained, biggest brained even, maybe we don't have anything to dump off swap frog. And we're activating its effect because it can send itself off field. And we wanted them to drag us to Paley and negate. Well, what are the odds? Uh, it, like, no way, right? Nah. Because that's like, that's like a little too big brained. 
Because, like, if they just let it go through, then, like, that sucks. Uh, goes in the IP. Banish the summon. Reading Jet real quick. Okay, they're going to Bell the Ronin Toten. Because Jet, if you read it, it's level or rank 2, not link 2. Not, like, uh, you know, this, red, or carrot. Activate the opening gate. Discard Jet to special summon back out a Dark Beckoning Beast from the graveyard. Then on that summon, we're going to go Manny's to set that. Um, that's definitely just going to get hit with Judgment, otherwise you've lost. Yeah, special summon blue. Blue effect to go search. Uh, blue, go search Jet. And then special summon Jet. Jet effect to go search. Dragos Paleo has been used. Kaleido Heart can't do anything, so we don't have any other setup. Grab starter. The only way this does anything is that they mess up and pop it. But if they do that, they deserve what's coming to them. Uh, link off into elf. And then elf effect to summon back out toad. Then after that, uh, we're going to overlay. Go into gigantic, gigantic, brown swap. Okay, so we do play another swap. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, well... Gigantic, proceed to attack over the Dragos Topalia. Pass, they draw Lava Golem. Um, okay, they're going to go main phase, drop Lava Golem on IP and Gigantic. Enter battle phase, attack over the Swap Frog. Okay, draw Prosperity. I mean, the, the tier element players like lost here. Uh, they lose a thousand. Well... Hold on, let's look at the banished. Okay, so they should still have the third elf. It's interesting if they still have the third elf, because usually people banish the third elf off the prosperity. So there's a chance that they don't have one left. Ah, okay, there goes dark. Toad effect add back, grab back swap frog. Um, Dark can just summon whatever from their grave. I mean, to be on Lava Golem can crash with this. And, like, Dragos to Palea by itself against no card should be enough. So, like, that already would be, like, good enough. But we're going to go ahead, Unicorn. Unicorn effect, spin back. And then they admit defeat. So, moving on into game three now. We are going to see Tier Element go first. Opening hands, you have Called by, Hafinas, Planet, Salic, and Beast. They have Prosperity. Ultimate Slay, Imperm, Shifter, Crow. Oh my gosh, so they have Prosperity. Okay, for like engine-wise. Activate Planet, also Shifter and Slay would conflict, but we have Called By for Shifter. So we're going to go search Rhino, and then Normal Summon Rhino, Effect, Chain Shifter, Chain Called By to stop that. Then Rhino goes ahead and dumps Miri. Uh, activate Miri Effect, Chain DD Crow on it, set. Oh, come on, don't say it like that, don't... No, 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 no. All I want to say is you decided to put Shadals in your deck. So when you draw them, they're not going to be that great. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Like, yeah, there are scenarios where they're better, but I don't, I don't think you need Window. I mean, I think, like, the best way to play Shadals if you decide to end up playing them is if you are playing Falco with Halk, if you're playing Beast with Beatrice... Or if you're playing Beast with Curious. If your deck does not have any of those routes to get to the Shadal monsters, you could say Branded, but then, like, you're already playing the Fallen of Owlbaz Brick. You can't really afford to put another one in. So, like, I don't know. I think Windows a bit overrated in this deck anyways. I don't think you need it a lot of the time. Pastral Talons. Activate Prosperity. Still think Windows crazy. I mean, if my opponent... Windows me like yeah it's gonna be scary but uh grabs lightning storm the only engine card there was opening were they supposed to just grab opening because like I'm sorry but I don't see how you win this if you don't have any engine right because you're gonna lightning storm back row okay salic effect goes search Salad goes ahead and searches Shaylin. That's already starting to become too much for you to deal with. Pass, draw Hafinas, go main phase, Shaylin effect, and then Shaylin's gonna get rid of Beast to mill three. 
Okay, decides to get rid of Beast to not have Phoenix. We mill nothing. Beast draw. I guess Fusion sub, but like that's not going to do anything at this very moment. Uh, Beast draws into a Salic. Then overlay in the redoer. Uh, battle phase, declare an attack with the redoer. Redoer effect, it goes through. We're going to detach the Rhino Heart for its effect and then get the Rhino Heart effect. Summon itself out by discarding Hafinas. Rhino 1, Hafinas 2. Imperm on the dump 1. I mean, that's dumb because Hafinas was just going to fusion summon, right? Hafinas summons what? Kit. Um, even if it summons a 3000 attack, that's not a game. That'd only be 45. So they summon Kit. But the thing is, they summon Kit. Rhino summons another fusion. So either way, they're getting two fusions. So they're getting Winda Kit. Rhino Heart. Which is 45, 6000. Maybe this is the correct play to Imperm Rhino Heart. And hope that they don't know Kit can dump. I think that is the play. Because if you imperm Kit, obviously they know Rhino Heart can dump. Yep, okay, so this is the correct play. It seemed very dumb at first. But this is the play that puts your opponent on make the most amount of mistakes. Like, put them on like they can still mess up and throw. So they're going to dump Miru, Miru effect. Okay, but they knew. So, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. I can respect it. I do stuff like that all the time. Like, literally, 99% of the games where I'm losing, I try to do stuff like that. I'm like, come on. You can mess up. You can mess up. I know you can. So, GG. GG's. Um, that was a bit unfortunate. That game three, they just didn't draw like anything they needed they drew like the going second cards needed to like prevent them from comboing but they didn't draw any of the going first stuff also the last card in their extra game one was gin buster yeah they don't play access code a lot of people don't it's uh it's very awkward in this deck because like it comes up but very rarely and like i don't really need it Fusion sub's interesting. Um, had a lot of people comment when I was like, I don't like this card. And they were like, oh, they like fusion sub more than poly in this deck. It's like, fusion sub can only fusion from your field, but then it has the draw effect. So like when it's milled, it's better than poly. Um, but when you draw it, it's not as good. And also if like you king of the swamp surge. I don't know. I just, personally, I find myself in a lot of scenarios where like, I would have poly and i need to fusion summon from hand and it's like i don't want to run poly and fusion substitute um i just really want like the one card to search off king of the swamp because like fusion sub and poly like, poly's not even that great of a card but like there's a lot of instances where like yes it does like if you poly get rid of tier elements like there, there's a lot of scenarios where you're just playing through infinite amount of hand traps um, especially going second, that that's like the more important one too. Poly going second is crazy. If you resolve Poly going second, a lot of the times, it's not like you're gonna win. It's like you're gonna OTK. <laughs> I OTK through some crazy end boards with tier, especially like in the mirror match. There there was probably like three matches in a row where just it was two O's, me just OTKing everybody, and it was just like wow, this is insane. Um, yeah, even though I think only, like, one of those matches I was really only going up against, like, a real player. The other one, I don't know, you can kind of tell if someone's real or not. It's also been a little while. I think it's been, like, a week and a half since that. Um, so, like, obviously, I hope players have gotten better since then, too. But uh, it's not like I'm on low rated and I beat someone and I'm like, yeah, I'm the best player ever. Uh, but we're going to see that was about 35 minutes long. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.